are such an asshole. All right, beat up Cappy. Old Captain just got back from Rhyolite. Which is an old ghost town out by Beatty, Nevada. And I'm freezing my ass off. Just took a hot shower and I'm cold because it's not that warm out there. All right, we got a request from a vet. <clears throat> and if you are a military, active or retired or vet or whatever, and from whatever country, you get a good discount. Because military, military personnel are superior. Don't mention my name, all right, I won't. <clears throat> I am a single 22 years old guy from a large city. I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps as a combat engineer. Uh, at the age of 17, right after I graduated from high school, he didn't put from. He, right after I graduated high school, he died. Ah, he's a Marine, though, you know. What do they call them, jarheads? The armies are grunts. The Marines are jarheads. What are the Air Forces called? Down pillows. Navies are squids. I knew the navies are squids. What do they call the Air Force? Uh, I finished my active duty enlistment at age 21 in September of 2018 at Camp Pendleton, California. Prior to being stationed in Japan for two years, so I decided to stay in California after finish with an honorable discharge. It's, it's a new environment I'm currently attending community college for free via grants while I do security part time on the side without my GI Bill. I'm currently taking general education classes pursuing a degree in real estate. Yes, I know that I don't need college for it. I'm doing it for networking reasons since I'm not from California. I plan on becoming a real estate investor. Sell to immigrants. Sell, sell the white people's houses. Like you put them on the market and you sell them to the immigrants because all the white people and all, well, not even just though I know some very intelligent minorities too. The fuck out. And now they're in Vegas, Vegas. Went golfing with a guy. Can't mention his name because he has a very unique name, but he was a black gentleman. And he's like, I'm not paying those taxes. I'm like, ah, welcome to the Republican Party. Welcome aboard. That's, uh, you can do it, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, get, get everyone moving out and moving in. Um, make a real estate invest to make passive income. But I'm thinking about going for a STEM degree, specifically engineering or technology degrees, is to pay... They pay a high salary while contributing to the advancement of society. I'm curious about what your opinion... I'm curious about your opinion. What STEM degree has the highest potential use and in income in society now and in the future? Also, I'm open to any advice. All right, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I'm going to do the really dirty, cheap shot here. Not at you. I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to look up highest paying engineering degree. <clears throat> and this will, like... Four or five years ago was petroleum engineering because of the Bakken oil field. Uh, here they are, and you're going to see why I'm doing it so um, chintzy in a second. I think it is computer science. Computer engineering, 60750 Electrical engineering, I'm doing just starting. Oh. Computer is 6775, electrical 61608, ocean engineering. I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. No, nope. chemical engineering 64. <coughs> nuclear, nuclear. Nuclear engineering 65, but the problem is there is. Um, Especially with, well, we can't have nuclear energy yet. That might be a little bit more difficult one. Metallurgical, no. Systems, no. Marine engine, no. Mining engineering, geology, that would be one that's 71,000. And then here, petroleum engineering. Sorry, I got an inch of yard pit. 90,827. Uh, but again, remember that is dependent on the oil prices, basically. Now, you could find any one of these uh, articles, highest paying engineering jobs, what's the highest paid engineer salaries, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> as long as you avoid environmental or uh, ocean, ocean engineering, never heard of that, right? Your standard basic ones, as long as you're within there, um, you're going to get a good salary. In terms of, where go? Highest potential use, that would be whatever one pays the most. 
because that's the economy telling you that has the highest use. Potential, we don't know. Now you're talking about the future. I don't know. Uh, petroleum engineering, long term, sure, but if oil prices remain depressed, it's the same thing with aerospace engineering. When there's a cutback on military spending, uh, and then Boeing and Airbus decide, well, we're not building any more planes, so there's a recession. Aerospace engineers are sitting out there with a cup in their hand. So your standard basic go-to is going to be your computer engineering, electrical engineering, chemical engineering, uh, did I say mechanical? And then civil, civil being the lowest paying of all of them. But uh, this is why I asked you the, the follow-up question here. Do you have a penchant for anyone? He says, no, I really don't have a penchant for any particular subdiscipline of engineering. I just want to get uh, use from my GI Bill and useful degree that will allow me to contribute to society. Stop, stop, consider, fuck society, all right? This is, this is, you've served, all right? And when you go into engineering, you will continue to serve society. But that should have no bearing on, oh, I want to choose this because I want to serve society. That's where you, you, just go be a good damn engineer while making a high income. The higher income you're making, the more you're serving society. That's how it works. Society's like, dude, we need you. You ever wonder why English majors only make $8 an hour over at Starbucks? Because they're not serving society. Well, they're serving them cups of coffee, but that's all in English. What are you gonna do? Teach us English a little bit more? So you have to understand the, the, the lesson of economics I'm trying to teach you. Uh, one, it's impossible to predict which has the highest potential value. They all have very good high potential value. Uh, but in the future, I, I would, if I had put money on it, petroleum engineering. But again, you're going to take some risks because it's based on commodity prices, which are volatile. Uh, but this obsession you have about contributing to society, you will be contributing to society. More than nonprofits, more than Doctors Without Borders, more than any charity or nonprofit, because you are paid egregious sums of money, because you are providing incredible value. Right? Entrepreneurs make millions, sometimes billions of dollars. You know why Steve Jobs made billions of dollars? Bill Gates made billions of dollars because they damn well did contribute to society. Your little cellular phone, your smartphone, that's Steve Jobs. Think about how much he contributed to society, making things so much easier. Bill Gates, same thing. Hey, point click, now everyone can use a computer. How much? They don't need to throw their shit. If I was Bill Gates, I'd take all my money, turn it into cash, and burn it. Say, fuck you, world, I already contributed enough. So you will be contributing to society. Don't make that a mission in life. The more money you make, the more you're contributing to society. Oh, there we go. The more money, the more you contribute. And the government will force you to give some of that back, matter of fact. <clears throat> uh, while making a high income so that I can invest in real estate properties on the side, buy and hold and have tenants and have an online business. So by the time I turn 35 years old, I can retire for being a cog in society and I can live a simplistic minimalist. Now you're not contributing to society. Minimalists don't contribute to society. They don't. That's what they <laughs> I want to contribute to society, but I want to be a minimalist and do as little as possible. Uh, and be able to travel or possibly live in the Philippines or Japan while making a passive income. Also, that if I decide to have a family or children in the future, I can leave assets to them and leave generational wealth for them. Well, don't let your buddy Ocasio-Cortez get some money. Uh, I won't ever have a family or children with Western women to the SJW entitlement mentality and viewing men as walking walls rather than human beings, unlike Asian women I've met while living overseas. All right. Uh, new follower, love content, keep up the good work. Thanks for the showing true masculinity. This is coming from Marine. He's telling me I have true masculinity. I don't know, dude. I want to look in the mirror there. Uh, since most men won't ever see it or do military or anything masculine in their lives, if you know any businesses that need help with online marketing, e commerce, feel free. All right. Um, I would st here's, here's what you're going to This is how you're going to maximize your potential. Take some time to study the different subfields of engineering and see which ones are most interesting to you. Go, to, seriously, just binge, binge on YouTube videos. Uh, what's it like being a chemical engineer? Great resource to go to, Engineered Truth with Matt Tran. Go to his channel, search it, look for what is it like to be a computer engineer? What is it like to be a chemical engineer? I would start there. That's the first place I would start. And then sooner or later, one field is going to uh, appetize you more than others. 
And that's the one I would go into. But if you know you want to make the most amount of money, I don't think it's as simple as looking at what today the highest paid engineering sub-discipline is. Well, not only that could change, but then two, you may not have a natural penchant or ability for it. Whereas if you find one of the legitimate engineering fields that, okay, let's say you're, you find one of the lower ones, which would probably be mechanical engineering. Um, nothing wrong with that. I mean, chemical, mechanical engineers make great money. But it's nothing as, say, super specialized as nuclear engineering. Well, if you really love mechanical engineering, you're probably going to make more as a mechanical engineer over the course of your life than you would going into nuclear engineering where you're kind of like, meh, I don't really like, you know, valence electron configuration and quarks and quarks and physics. And, oh, hey, look, we got enough. Ah, it blew up. Hey, let's control the explosion. And then we got nuclear power, and now everyone hates us even though it's clean energy. Um... You'll make more money in something that you like. So while you're majoring in real estate, uh, why don't you spend an hour or two per week just binging on the different... T what's it like to be uh, an aerospace engineer? What's it like to be a computer science... Or I'm sorry, a computer engineer? Oh, you could do computer science too, same thing. Not really, because I knew the nerd thing. It's not the same thing. Picturing that guy from Robot Chicken with the glasses, the buffet, it's not really the thing. Uh, so that's it. All right, anyway, hope that helped. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. I will see all you guys later. Toodles.